Grace School students. Today we are going to be making a special drawing and the way that we're going to do this is we are going to start with our white crayon and we are going to make small fish shapes all over our paper. And because you can't see if I draw this with my right white crayon, I'm going to do exactly what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to use a blue crayon. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm making it, I'm making little fish shapes. But I want you to make your fish shapes with a white crayon instead of the blue crayon, okay? And it's a little tricky because you can't see. So when you can't see what you're doing, it's good if you sort of decide on a, um, on a row and just kind of keep going across and going down. So here we go on the other side of my paper, I will do what, I'm, what I asked you to do. And with my white crayon, I'm gonna draw fish shapes small fish shapes all over until I fill up my paper. Okay, so even though you can't see it, I drew small fish all over my paper. Now, I'm gonna just take fun, whatever fun colors I want, and I'm gonna make a couple big fish wherever I want them on my paper. And any kind of a fun fish shape that you come up with. And you can add some details, you can add an eye, you can decide that your fish is going to have some um, fun gills of a different color maybe. And what if maybe I want this fish to have a fun lines in their tail, okay? So you get to add any details you want to your fish. This one is going to have a fun, sort of a pointy nose and a smaller tail and a really funny fin that goes all the way over here. And then we can draw our eyes and we can draw a little mouth shape and we can draw, um, let's say this one has fins that look like this. So once you finish your drawing part, you are going to take out your watercolors and some water. And I want you to first start by just deciding on some colors and painting in your fish. And see how the watercolor acts as a resist? So that's kind of fun. So you still see where you made your blue lines here. And then you can just rinse out your brush and you can choose another color for a different part of your fish. And you can just keep switching colors for fun. Do a little yellow here in those fins. It's really fun to watch how the watercolor just goes right around that crayon, those crayon marks. Then, when you're finished filling in all of your fish, it's a good idea probably to stop for a minute and let everything dry that you just made before you start on the next step, which is going to be your background. Now I'm going to take some blue paint and I'm going to paint the wa I'm going to paint water behind my fish. And this is going to be the fun and tricky part. Are we ready? Look what starts to happen. It's just like the little boy. He had just a few fish like our big fish, but after Jesus made the miracle, all of a sudden there were a lot more fish. And see how when you paint over where you drew those little tiny fish with your white crayon, those are gonna show up and that's like a little trick. But it's, it can't be really like a miracle because we aren't, um, we aren't Jesus. But look at that. And that's just what God did. He took the three big fish that the, children, that the child made and then he made a whole bunch of other fish. 
that were a big surprise, and those surprise fish are what fed all the people. And it's fun to watch those fish you made with the white crayon just appear, right, as you're going. There comes another one, there's another one. They're all over my, my drawing, aren't they? We'll just fill it all 